We are gravely concerned by the latest reports of an upsurge of violence and escalation of fighting by government forces and by anti-government armed groups. Innocent civilians are trapped in the line of fire. The observers of the UN supervision mission is at serious risk too. They were repeatedly targeted before the suspension of their operation on 15th June. This suspension is likely to exacerbate the suffering of the Syrian people. I urge all parties to stop the violence in all forms immediately. Time is running out. Syria is spiraling into deeper and more destructive violence. The people of Syria desperately need the international community to come together now and exercise its full influence before it is too late. <laughs> The government had superior equipment. Evidence available indicates that they had deployed armored personnel carriers, tanks, and or self-propelled anti-aircraft guns and mortars in Taldu and the surrounding areas. The government clearly had the capacity to shell any location in the entire town and, in fact, did shell several locations. There is no indication that the government attempted the next day to secure the crime scene, which had already been disturbed by the removal of the bodies. While the Commission could not rule out the possibility of anti-government fighters being responsible for the killing, this was considered very much unlikely. Inconsistencies in the available evidence hinder our ability to determine the identity of the perpetrators at this time. Nevertheless, we consider that forces loyal to the government may have been very responsible for many of the deaths. We'll continue our investigation until the end of our mandate. the further militarization of the crisis will be catastrophic for the people of Syria and the region. The cessation of hostilities is of paramount importance for the promotion and, protect, uh, and protection of human rights. It is the civilian population from various communities who are suffering in this conflict, many paying with their own lives. غير أن اللجنة عادت وللأسف إلى الوقوع في فخ الانحياز عندما اعتمدت اسلوب المبالغة والبعد عن الحقيقة في تقديم توصيفات ترقى إلى درجة الخيال حين نسبت إلى الحكومة السورية اتهامات باطلة تستند على شهادات هاربين من العدالة وعلى ما تورده بعض المحطات الإعلامية المغرضة والمنحازة